You は何をしに日本を見たことありませんか I love that show. でもそもそも You は何をしに日本は英語で何て言うんでしょうか答えはびっくりするかもしれませんちなみに Why you come to Japan ではありません皆さんこんにちは You Connect のアーサーですこの動画では You は何をしに日本へという自然で優しい聞き方をご紹介します One TV show that I really like on Japanese TV is You は何しに日本へ And I'm sure that you've seen it before too But when they're talking to the foreigners and asking them the question What do they actually say? Well, I looked at the name of the TV show on the English Wikipedia and the title says, Why did you come to Japan? And actually, that question is not wrong. That is a natural way to ask that question. There's a problem though. If you say, Why did you come to Japan? The other person is going to feel kind of strange, they're going to feel distance, they're going to feel like you don't like them. That's the exact opposite of what you want to do. You don't want to get farther away. You want to get closer with them. You want to connect with them. You want to know about them. That's why not just the words you say, but how you say them is very important. Why does this sound so cold to foreigners? It has to do with the word why. The word why is very short and it can feel like you're actually angry at the other person. If you say something like, why did you do this? Why did you do that? Why did you come here? Why did you go there? ちょっと攻めてる感じもします。It's kind of like in Japanese. なんでこれしたのなんでそれしたのなんでここに来たの Doesn't it feel kind of strange? Kind of cold? I know from experience, if you want to make someone angry, ask them a question using why. Even though you're not saying it directly, the way the other person understands it is, I think what you're doing is bad. Tell me why you're doing it and you should change it. So, if you say, Why did you come to Japan? The message the other person is understanding is, You should not have come to Japan. Why did you come here? Maybe you should go back. Now, of course, when you ask this question of foreigners, they're not going to think exactly like that, but it's going to start to make them feel a little bit distant. So, what can you say instead? A phrase that I and many of my friends use all the time is, What brings you to blank? This is what American people say when they want to ask, Why did you come here? in a very friendly way. You're interested in the reason why they came here. So, next time you're having a conversation with a foreigner, please ask, What brings you to Japan? Did you like this video? Do you want to get more information on how to not just learn English, but actually use it with foreigners? You can sign up for the Uconnect Mail Circle. Every week, I send out my YouTube videos, my blog posts, my podcasts, and a bunch of private information I don't share in public. And it'll help you be able to not just learn English, but actually use it and talk with foreigners. If you're interested, you can sign up by clicking in the link up here or by clicking in the link in the box below. Until next time, enjoy your English adventures. Bye! I forgot to put, ah、oh、man, I forgot to put wax in my hair, so. It'll be okay, it'll be okay. Okay, so if I want to do like this, this is the Okama, right? So I should do this right. Okay. You are not your city, Nihoi, to you, to you, Shizenna, Shizende, okay. Mina san konichi, okay. Is that okay? Cool. Okay, sweet.